Hi, my name is Jan Ray Beard. Today I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on how to use GIMP. The nature of this program is used as a graphic manipulation tool. It's a free program and you can access this software by going to your internet, typing in www.gimp.org and then clicking on this download tab. Once you have this program downloaded, you can find this icon on your desktop. Students can use this software in order to gain skills in preparing graphic designs for slides, handouts, web pages, and bulletins. This tutorial can be used in relation to the Grade 7 Communications Technology Module in the Newfoundland and Labrador curriculum. Two specific learning outcomes that this process could be used to meet include 2.0.1 Use a range of two-dimensional and three-dimensional representational techniques to communicate technical solutions and ideas. And 2.0.2, use image editing to create bitmapped images and structured drawings. Today, we're producing a pencil or charcoal sketch from a photo. So once you have this program downloaded, you can just open it up. Once this is open, here you can see the main manipulation tab, a layers tab on the right hand side, and a tools tab on the left hand side. If your layers tab is not present, you can click Ctrl and L in order to get it to pop up. So the first thing we're going to do is go to File, Open, and then we're going to select our favorite image that we want to change into a pencil or charcoal sketch. I'm going to use a picture of my backyard. So the first thing you want to do is to go on the right hand side, click your photo under layers, and click this icon which creates a duplicate. So now you can see the second document here that says copy next to it. You want to click on that photo and then we're going to go to colors, colorize, and we're going to change the saturation to zero. This is going to give us a black and white image of our picture. Next, we're going to duplicate this second copy and create a third copy. Now, we're going to select this third copy and we're going to go to Filters, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. So as you can see, this is just a preview of what we have here. So we're just going to click OK. It's going to be 5 pixels by 5 pixels. Now you can see there's a little bit more of a blur to this picture than there was previously. So next we're going to go to Colors, then Invert. And it's going to make a black and white copy, but it's going to be the negative of the other copy that we've had. Similar to what you would see if you've seen negatives of photographs. So next we're going to click the opacity, we're going to change that to 50. Okay, so we're going to choose our third image again, right click and click merge down. So now we're left with two again. You need to select your second image again and use your icon to duplicate it, make another copy again, copy number one. Select this third image, go to Mode, and select Dodge. This is going to be our pencil sketch. So now, in order to darken this and make it a charcoal sketch, we can select this third layer again, right-click, Merge Down, select our second image, go to the icon that duplicates it again, make another duplicate. This time we want to select our third document, go to Mode, and go to Multiply. As you can see, this makes our pencil sketch just a little bit darker. So again, right click, Merge Down. You can complete this process as many times as you want in order to make it as dark as you possibly want it. So select this one, make a duplicate. Again, select the third image, go to Mode, multiply 
and again it makes it a little bit darker like charcoal right click merge down I'm gonna do it one more time just to make it a little bit darker so select our second image make a duplicate click our third image go to mode and multiply and there you have it. so again right click merge down now we have our pencil sketch or charcoal sketch and you want to export it so that you can use it for handouts, slides, web pages so you're going to go to file export next you're going to select what you want to save it as so I'm going to save it as home and as you can notice right here it's going to be a JPEG image that's fine you can click export now it's going to ask you for the quality so put that to 100% and then we're going to click export and once this is exported you can see wherever you select it that it's going to give you your document separately as a JPEG I feel that this is a great piece of free software that can be used to help students with many different forms of graphic manipulation in the school setting I hope that this tutorial is of some help when you are making a pencil sketch from any image. Tune in next week and see how to remove red eye from a photo on the GIMP software.